All right, this is going to be my actual playthrough now that the controller problems are fixed. My mic volume is at maximum, the game's volume is at 5%, and I might be talking a little more softly simply because it is almost 2 a.m. Uh, we've already seen the game. See if my controls are still correct after exiting the game. That's right, yes. Okay. Okay, the controller is not mapped any longer how I had it, so let's redo what I did. Um, okay, so up, down, left, right, uh, jump, shoot, um, slide, rush, yes, okay. Um, start, select, L, R. New game. Okay, so this should be correct now. Yep, yep. Slide is its own button, right where I want it. Down is good. Okay, we're good. Um, so does this mean that every single time I turn on the game I have to reconfigure the controller? I guess so. Alright, so I have not seen anything beyond this screen. This will be the first time. Let's get to it. Uh, so, jumping is right. Yep, down, jump is slide. Of course, have the slide button. I don't have rush yet, so that button won't work. I like the animation on the charge. Charge shot is a good size. Three, just as we want. Nice tiptoe. Where are we on... Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm looking at it uh, from a pixel standpoint. That's like three pixels off the edge. Yeah, okay. Okay, I see. I'm going to assume that even if you had Rush and were capable of getting up there, you couldn't actually shoot that thing and save Fireman. It's storyline that he's meant to be captured one way or the other. Okay. So that was Honey Woman that I believe just got abducted. Ooh! Okay, so a smaller shield attacker that changes... Uh, that's nice, that's nice. Ah, Skull Man. Oh, nice. SFR representation, I like. Okay, slightly different looking big eye. Proto Man, and here's a roll. It's a cutscene, so I can't control Mega Man. I can't uh, look at my theory. Ah, okay, and now Mega's getting abducted. 
And this is where the second half of the game will take shape. Tango, nice. Still IBN. I like the continuity. <laughs> Has anyone ever bothered to change it to IBM? Not that it's necessary. Light. While the cutscene is going, there we go. Everything should now be fitting on the screen correctly. All right, roll. So, yeah, all visualization, no text of any kinds. Not so bad. Ready to roll. Perfect. Okay. Let's see, our movement is the same. No charge. Okay. Jumping, sliding. Yep, sliding's the same. Good. All right. Where are we pixel-wise? So, one, two, three. Yep, same on that. Good tiptoe. Uh, so yeah, no charge. Alright, and yes, I'm going to apologize because I tend to have this kind of a snap with my mouth that you might hear on the mic a few times. Okay. And Buster, yes. Missing something here? See, I don't appear to have any kind of super jump ability. Hmm, how do I get in there? Rush. <laughs> huh. jump. Nothing special. Holding down. That will obviously cause a slide. Oh, double jump. Duh. Okay. I should have cut on to that. Nice design. No, really, I like the color. Okay, so technically I wasn't meant to go through that gate anyway.
Okay, so I need to actually be alerting an enemy in order for the alarm to go off. Obviously, Mega Man will be behind this one. Okay. So, cutscene. Okay, Mega Man appears to be free. More cutscene. And I have control again. There we go. Nice to see how that works with uh, role playing alongside you. Okay, more cutscene. Roll joins you. <laughs> I like the pose and the wink. And I guess you are supposed to be on a submarine. Okay. All right, we're at the uh, select screen now. Um, so I like the intro. Music, I guess, was okay. I'm a big music buff when it comes to Mega Man. Like, Nico is to gameplay as I am to the music of the Mega Man series. Like, I'm a big critique. Um, so yeah. The first stage's music was pretty good. I guess it could be a bit more upbeat, but I liked it. I guess if I had to choose a word, it's a little forgettable. No offense. Um, there's that tick. Okay, uh, Roll's design is perfect. I love it. Uh, the fact that she can't charge, okay, that's fine. So you get some Mega Man 4 with Rock, and you get some Mega Man 2 with Roll. Nice variety. Alright, uh... <clears throat> Let's see here. So our select screen. Mega Man X style. Nice. Nice touch. And as far as I can tell, we have something similar here, so... Yes. So we have details, much like the X screen. Dune Woman, Weather Control. Okay. Drake Man, Geological Survey, Volcano. Okay, so that's the Fire Boss. That's Desert. Polar Woman, Ice, naturally. Missile Man, gotcha. Ghost Woman, Castle, gotcha, okay. Electric. Beetle Lady. Okay, 
That, that's different. I like that. Lady instead of woman. Okay. And Tide Man. Ocean. Gotcha. So, what order to go in? And this would be save, I believe? Yes. Okay. Save is done. So, order. Um, knowing my Pokemon, I'm looking at certain things here. So, ice, I would assume, works on electricity, maybe? Or does it work on ground? Yeah, you're not electric, you're missile. Um, so electric would then probably work on water, water would work on fire. I could also look at past Mega Man games to try and get an idea. So something like Commando Man, which would be military. Uh, he was weapon. Uh, his weapon was good against uh, Blade Man, so a weapon based. Possible that missile is then strong against Ghost. And okay, yeah, because Beetle's weapon could also be good against Reactor. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to start with Polar. Okay, so I have a small critique in regards to the um, the screen we just saw where you've selected your robot master. This is uh, a same critique that I have given to Megaphil X when he has been showing off uh, previews of things he's doing with quote unquote Mega Man Unlimited 2. I feel that when you are on that screen, the robot master's name should be completely on the screen before the tune finishes. And much like Phil, in this game, the name is not completed by that point. The tune ends, and the last one or two letters are still coming up. And then the game is like basically fading out to start the stage immediately once the name is filled. I understand it says woman, but... Yeah, like, where's an example? If you play Mega Man X2, Wheel Gator has a lot of animation. The tune finishes, and he's still doing the animation. Then his name appears. That just seems like the... I don't know, it, it, it takes too long. Maybe his animation should be shorter. I'm just saying that by the time the tune ends, the name should have already been on screen for at least a good whole second. Okay, enough about that little rant. We have Ice Physics. Ooh, a different take on a blader. So, the whale from Mega Man 4 is back, but in a different capacity, and I'm getting... Okay. Ah, some Mega Man 11 there. So yeah, I'm getting a definite uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 vibe here. That's nice. Uh, do I 
I don't think I want to risk that. Um, if you've seen that one large power-up in a Lechman that requires a really good jump, unless you go right in the pit, yeah, that one's reminding me of that jump. And considering it's so early in the stage, I don't think many people are going to go for that unless they're extremely desperate. All right, spines. Yep. That looks about right. Um, if the game is looking at all a tad jerkish, I don't think that's the game. I think that might be OBS screwing with it, but uh, it's hard to tell unless I play the game with OBS off. Is it me or are those scuba mets just slightly different from the originals? Also, should the spine be moving at full speed when I'm over top of it? Okay. That's uh, one thing that I know Miko dislikes, is getting attacked immediately upon entering the screen. I wasn't watching, or was that two Susies on top of each other? Yeah, so I enter the screen and there's a Susie right here that comes across and rams me right in the face. Um, I guess it's a good challenge, but I'm not that keen on it. Okay, obviously I need a fire weapon to get through that. And no, to answer my previous question, no, that was not two Susies on top of each other. Impassable Spine. Okay. Um, I get the feeling I get where that's going. It'll pick me up and drop me on the spikes. Uh, I don't have a weapon to take that spine out, and I'm at half health, so... Okay, this time I want... To get grabbed. Okay, so that's a Mega Man 1 style met, noted. Ouch. Not bad for an introduction. Okay, checkpoint. Seems obvious. I hate bladers in Mega Man 1, so I naturally hate this one to begin with. Yep. Right, I bounce. Um, okay, so because of the rounded slope on the end of the whale, I'm supposed to fall off like that? Uh, not sure how I feel about that but considering I'm landing on the tail and not to my death, that's not so bad. I have to get used to the bounce on that water. Like I'm getting, like I said, I'm getting Mario 2 vibes, but unlike Mario 2 where you would simply stand on the top of the water, this makes you bounce. And ice physics combined with, yes, good checkpoint.
Ooh. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think I know what I want to do here. And I failed miserably. In this case, I'm thinking of the Tri Nitro Man platforms that will bounce you up to spikes and you have enough time to slide off of it before you hit the spikes. In this case, uh, no, you definitely do not have enough time. And I almost messed that up. I think I'm supposed to use the water period. I'm just supposed to jump. Um, okay. I'm assuming I can get... Yeah, so that's what I should have done to begin with. Yes. Lesson learned. No enemy here to knock you into the pit. I like that. For some reason, I was expecting another one of those snowflake enemies to pop up. Okay. Not bad. Shot Man. Very new design. Could be maybe a tad more threatening? So different from the ones in Mega Man 7, these ones you actually have to shoot. Alright, so three and then it switches. I'm happy that it doesn't sink. That little bit of jerkiness in the game is probably going to be a downfall for me. Um, what? Oh. So there's a hidden platform in the water. Now you see. <sighs> uh. <laughs> okay. This is getting dangerous. Open up, damn you. <laughs> and uh, ice physics once again. I slid right into it. Because I was holding forward. Yeah, see, when I'm coming off of here, I'm immediately holding right because I'm looking at the ice physics momentum taking me into the spikes. <coughs> so instead of doing that, because I'm trying to stop myself by hitting right, I'm going into the enemy instead of stopping at a halt. Not sure how I care for that placement. Okay. 
Okay. Do I want to risk everything when I'm already down to that? Not exactly. Okay. So, I'm assuming these things don't drop me. No. Good thing I caught on to that quickly enough. Jeez. Jerkiness got me that time. Okay, so to explain this whole jerkiness feeling that I'm talking about, when I got Mega Man 11, I bought it on Steam, as I don't own any of the current generation consoles. And my first attempt at playing the game, I was going to do a race against a uh, friend over, um, over Twitch. And with OBS open, the game was running at, well, let's just say much slower than intended. As a result, I turned the stream off, but I wasn't paying attention to the fact that, um... I wasn't paying attention to the fact that by keeping OBS open, the game was going to continue running at that speed. So I wound up playing through the entire game blind uh, at that slower speed, which wasn't exactly bad or anything, but... to make this jump. And there's ice physics on those icebergs as well. Okay. Game over. Fine. Fine. Okay. So, I somewhat understand the stage. I would like to try something else. I understand it, so I'm going to come back to it. Uh, let's go with uh, one of the men this time, one of the male robot masters. Hmm. Yeah, sure. I like transforming robot masters, so... Okay, music's got my attention right away. I like that the missiles are designed to essentially go right over top of you, except that one. Hippie! I somewhat remember this from uh, Nico's demo playthrough, yes.
Yeah, so go going back to what I was saying before, OBS being open to do this recording could be what's making the game fidget around. I will have to actually play the game. I would have to play the game with OBS off to confirm that. Actually, it's getting insanely jerky. Uh, maybe it's one of those NES things. There's too much happening on screen at one time, so it gets... Um, the f it, yeah, it slows down. I guess I'll also point out that this computer is only just a little over a year old. I got it uh, May of last year. And I wasn't paying enough attention to slide. happening on the computer that's uh yeah why don't I take um some things off here possibly removing parts of the internet in general or maybe I should shut down the browser Okay, Chrome is closed. Will that alter anything? Let's see. Well, it does seem to have helped quite a bit already. We'll know when we get back to the crushers. Oh, my fault there. Yes, <laughs> it was my browser open that was causing the problem. So I think we can close the OBS was the issue problem there. Um, let me guess. I need an electric weapon to power that. Nice. I approve. Alright. Got time bombs here. Uh, see, I don't have a weapon, so let's uh, skip that. Time that a little better for myself. That as well. Did 
Did I hit a checkpoint yet? I did. Thank you. thing I caught onto that quickly enough. Uh, let's see. Sure. <laughs> ah, lady's favorite enemy is back. to when you fire. Reflex. Oh, the missiles are going to come at me now. Well, they're not pings, but I guess they'll do, right? Okay, I like that they just drop right through the floor. If they had actually landed on the conveyor belt, I'd be worried. Of course, that would be some uh, added challenge and danger, but in the way that the stage is going already, maybe I don't actually want that. I see. I guess I'd have to jump out of a slide to make that uh, in any way accurate. Energy tank, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, a zero bomb. Jumping out of a slide on a conveyor belt simply doesn't work. Okay. Still getting a feel of some stages. When I go back to them, I'll understand how they work a bit better. Beetle Lady. Let's go. Back to four. All 
good. Ooh, I saw an eyeball on that cannon. Okay. Like, it reminds me of the cannon from 4, but it fires a little slower. shoot it, I get in front of it. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. Do I... That's a wall. So I get up onto that second one above the glowing part. I see, I see. Or, wait. So is that a wall or not? Do I have to risk a life to test this out? Yes, it is. I see. I see, I see. I have to quickly get over to the right and slide under. slow. Okay, I'm going back in here. Plant man, buddy, help me. One hell of a challenge. Like, the one in the previous stage kind of reminds you of the one in Crystal. You simply go down the drop in the wrong spot and you'll miss it. 
this one is a really big challenge, because it's all about speed. Nope, there's just way too big of a gap there once I reach the point to slide. At least it's very early on in the stage, so I'm going to keep trying. If it were later in the stage, I think players would get very frustrated. like you have to be so precise. You have to go so fast. Again, I thought I went as fast as I could that time, and I still didn't make it. I'm assuming I can stand right on the... Yeah, okay. There we go. Right on the edge of the horn. looking ladder. I'm not just saying that, it's a nice looking ladder. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll come back to that as, at another time. Eddie, thank you for the one-up. Ooh, nice enemy. good spot and you'll you still have the option of possibly getting hit by the ball nice so now a question were the caterpillars at the beginning of the stage the exact same type that could morph into the um, moth or butterflies that I'm fighting? And I simply destroyed them too quickly to notice, or are there two different kinds? Because if the ones at the start are different from these, then I feel that these ones that transform could maybe be a different color. I get enough time to see that there is a spike, 
and the Rhino Beetle manages to hurt me so that I don't get insta-killed by the spikes. Okay, okay. Weapon energy, so there's future potential of using a weapon there instead. Okay. I see. to those moths because you, there's there's no set pattern at least that I'm detecting maybe it's just me but maybe those okay I didn't think I hit that close to the edge. <sighs> As I was going to say, um, do the moths take too many hits? They take, what, four or five hits overall? Normal shots, that is. Assuming I can go through that, so I want to jump lightly here. I'm not sure in that frantic area if I approve of that moth. Hey, I finally reached a boss. Alright. Okay, there's that minor freeze that uh, I dealt with earlier in the first recording. And another robot master to learn. So I'm understanding the pattern there. And I have the letter. Uh, so stage. Let's do a save, because I haven't done that in a while. <clears throat> okay, so I know I can get to beat a lady quite easily. Oh, good. You have a sign you signify that you've gotten the lettering stage. I like that. Alright. Let's try here. Nice look. I like his helmet. Nice intro. I like the fish. Nice touch. Alright. 
right. Getting some Launch Octopus vibe in there. Nice enemy. Shoot the puffer, it explodes. Okay, so it dives at you. I'm happy that there's not more than one coming out. Okay. Right. And you get some momentum coming out of it. Good. teaching there. Ooh. Yeah. A, a little rabid for its introduction, but okay. Now, does it just hurt me, or like Mega Man 9? Yes, nice touch. The ink does coat me. Ooh. Okay, different from Gemini Man. That is that that is good. I like that the charge shot takes them out that way. That that's as, as it should be. Okay, this one's not reacting to my presence. Do I have to be under it? that appear to have eyes or whatever's in the center contain fish. <sighs> I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this starfish enemy just popping out of nowhere. Okay, some nice challenge here. Nope. Oh, ah, there's the letter. See? Huh. this challenge. Ouch. I didn't uh, go up far enough. Okay, so here's a small critique. There are certain things about the controls that I'm looking at. First of all, the slide having its own button, and rush and beat having their own button. <sighs> See, this is why I feel that the control scheme, uh, binding the control uh, controller, should be done differently, much like, say, the Mega Man X option screen. You want slide and the rush beat buttons to be optional. Uh, the same goes for L and R, shifting your weapons. And the reason I'm saying this is based on certain games such as Mega Man 
um, unlimited, I suppose, where my fingers are so used to being around the shoulder buttons that I'm going to hit one on accident quite often. And so I'm going to switch weapons when I didn't intend to. I much prefer to just go to the weapon screen. Now, of course, I could then bind the L and R to something different, such as L2 and R2, which my fingers will be farther from. the music, by the way. I am getting an ocean, an ocean depth type feeling from it. a much better challenge than the previous stage. Onward. Alright, electric jellyfish. Am I slick by chance when I'm all inked up? I'm not sure I want to find out. I'm liking that that puffer fish did not respawn based on how far back I went. Ooh, electric eel. And here's another one of those Lechman type jumps. I don't think many people want to go for that. <laughs> yeah, Nico would probably say that this pit seems inviting. How long do I stay inked? By now I think it should have worn off. something new. <laughs> okay, so a smaller version of the snail from Mega Man 4 that does something different. Neat. So this bomb's going to explode no matter what I do. Gotcha. And that changes... Ooh, more depth. <laughs> Ooh! getting some Shovel Knight vibes from this thing, and I like that. Hmm. I gotta work on the... Darn, a game over. I want to continue this one. Beetle Lady stage I liked, this stage I like. Not to say I didn't like the other two, but we'll work on that. Remember that I did um, the ice stage with my browser open, so this will be a little different. Thank <laughs> you. 
And I simply didn't move right far enough. That one was my fault. See where this can be a very good speed gain. The only thing that I'm going to critique on that, uh, on me saying that, is going back to the letter in Beetle Lady. may discourage people from doing 100% in this game. Okay, bright man vibes here. Cool. Okay, okay. Can you... Yes, you can. Like the four, like the snail in four, you have to hit it with the eyes open. Okay. back this uh, if I just fall forward from here do I have enough momentum to go in yes I do okay I'm in the door <sighs> once again we have yeah Okay, how much of the Robot Master can I learn before I die? Nice intro. Nice leg movement. Ooh! Okay. 
<laughs> Interesting. Um, I wasn't expecting big fish. I like the anchor. Okay. to understanding when he's going to fire that anchor. Come on, I know it's all clutch, but can I... I can maybe do this? Like Tide Man. That is a very good fight. So, how long have I been recording for? Uh, let's see, an hour 18? <laughs> Got through my first Robot Master. Not bad. Shield Bubble. Okay. Float. Okay. Okay. Uh... Yes. Okay. All right. I have a water weapon, so my first thought here would be to go against either ground or fire. So let's attempt fire. Okay, so there's my example just now of um, accidentally switching weapons. I happened to hit R1 when I was jumping. So let me see if I can put my finger back farther. Upgrade to the Dragonfly in three. I wish I had Rush Coil because I'd actually go for that. Same there. Okay. So that acts the same as it does in Fireman for Game Boy. Okay, nice. Tackle fire, welcome back. I like the sound effect when it comes out of the fire. Ooh, these fall. Nice. I like that little section there. I think I fell off when I should have jumped. Let's continue. Thank you. 
Why did I jolt like that? Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling that why is it rising so fast? Okay, I did not get a good enough look at that screen to understand how I'm supposed to get that letter. Oh, they shoot fire. Disappointing. Yeah, wish I could kind of jump higher with that. Let me guess, I can jump off this thing and land on that platform. Fleas. Just when I don't need them, but thank you. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, I assume I need Missile Man or something to destroy that. Oh. Okay. <sighs> hit his hitbox. Okay. Good checkpoint. This stage is pretty decent. I feel it's missing something, but I think it would grow on me. Like, I have to remember that this isn't generally a fire boss, it's a dragon boss. There's a difference. 
And yes, I remember now that I have Energy Balancer by default. And he killed me first. <laughs> well, I was correct in the weakness. Okay. Uh, well, I have the stage figured out. So yeah, why don't we go back? I know I can reach the boss. Okay, this time the dragonfly hit me when I was in that position. Last time I was capable of standing here without it getting into my hitbox, but probably that's because I shot it so quickly. Seriously, I wish I had Rush Coil or something because, I don't know. I don't like Mega Man games, well, okay, I'll say that differently. In the Game Boy titles, specifically 3, 4, and I think 5, you had to defeat a certain Robot Master in order to get Rush Coil. Uh, yeah, the same as in Mega Man 2 as well. Um, if that's the case here, then I'm curious which Robot Master it is. Uh, the whole thing in Mega Man 9 and 10 of having to defeat uh, four or five Robot Masters, uh, respectively, in order to get Rush Jet, I thought was a little overboard. I like it better where you get uh, Jet by defeating a specific Robot Master. But in regards to Coil, Coil just seems like one of those default uh, rushes that you want. You don't want to have to defeat anyone for it. Oh, for God's sake. back here already. Okay, I'm not caring for that. Again? The hitbox. Okay, so you can shoot the Tackle Fire as it is coming up. I was actually going to say you couldn't, and I wish that you could add that, but you've already done it. Good. Obviously, I'm missing something when it comes to that letter. OK, 
Can the game be a little more like Mega Man 5 and just give me lives? Because <laughs> that could be uh, useful right about now. And I did that again. Okay, I finally know the path to the letter. Now the question is just getting up there faster. Seriously, I wish that Rush Coil was kind of default. I don't even know if Coil's in the game, but... I would assume it is. Almost. I'm not going to let the stage beat me. my fault. Yeah, I'm not even... I mean, I could die again and go back, but... I guess I might be? Nope, that was the checkpoint.
Thank you. Not bad, not bad. All right, two down in an hour 39. And I'm going to keep playing for about another 20, 25 minutes. I'll upload this one and see how you like it. I feel that the face in that Mega Man design can be slightly different. I'm not sure what it is that I'm looking at. Is it the eyes? Is it the mouth? Is the buster covering the face a little off? I don't know. Oh, cutscene. Oh, okay. So here's Rush. You have to defeat two robot masters to get Coil. I'm understanding it. Yes. Hello, Tango. Right. Rush button. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Okay, I have fire. So is fire good against bugs? Or is it, is it good against ice? Perhaps both. back to you. Polar woman. Let's go. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to change the controls to put my L and R on um, the L2 and R2. Just because it's, uh, it doesn't feel right. Okay, back to ice physics. And these bladers. Lady hates footholders, I hate bladers. to go back to Drake's stage to get the letter eventually. Right, the Susie again. Yeah, I don't like that Susie. up on the bottom. That's neat. Uh, do I have 
have a weapon that destroys the spine. Not necessarily, no. Yes. I should be able to hit that met while hanging on to the claw. Mega Man 1 Mets annoy me. Yeah, I was expecting that. This music's not bad. Uh, again, I feel it's kind of missing something. But it's nice. My fault. I shouldn't have left uh, the iceberg. Uh, 
Oh, it's one of those electric, uh, right, I see. Okay, checkpoint. One thing I kind of like about those enemies is that, unlike Mega Man 11, they don't come back. Maybe they should, as the added challenge, but I don't know. Uh, yes, I could. Okay, so the bubble does eventually receive enough stress. Okay, I never got to Polar Woman before. <laughs> my last life. Of course I am. Okay, do I have the right weakness? I think I'm going to stop recording now. So let's save. That was a first good attempt at the game. So it's back to Polar Woman the next time I'm playing, and then we'll try out Beetle Lady again. Okay, until then. <laughs>